Hi guys, in today's video we'll be looking at the menu bar object. The menu bar object allows you to place a strip of menu bar items along the top of your screen. And you'll be used to this because almost every Windows application you'll have ever used has this. So let's jump into Visual Studio and take a look. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is create a new project and we will make a Windows Forms project. Oh, Windows Forms. So Windows Forms app.NET Framework in C Sharp. We'll call this one Menu Bar. And so we just got a basic WinForms application now, and we will go into our all Windows Forms control toolbox, and we will find the menu strip, and drag that on. And you'll see straight away that it kind of aligns itself to the top of the form, and you can see here we get this little type here box. So we can actually start populating it by just typing in there. So you can just type the name and then hit return. Uh, we'll call this one help. And you can add as many as you want in here. You can put whatever you want. Uh, and you'll see when you click on them, you then get the same option underneath. So you can fill them. So we could say here, maybe exit or I don't know, settings, like common things. And what you notice is as you click on them, you're able to change the properties in the property window over here. So if we were to go on to settings, we'll see um, we can actually update the, the title in the property manager as well. So let's say test. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Now, if you want to trigger some functionality when you when the user clicks on them, just like we do with buttons, we can just double click them in the editor here, and then it will populate this uh, click handler. And we can just put a message box in there if we want. The message box dot show hello. And if we go ahead and run that, you'll see. that we have our menu strip at the top and it works just like it you know it does in every other program um i didn't put anything in these so they don't drop down however this one has our test and our settings and if i click on test we get our hello message so you can see that we've sort of built it up visually in here and then we've just double clicked to populate the click handler there is a few additional properties we can look at on here so if we just select the the bar at the top and then if we come to our property window here and um Let's have a look, where is it? We're looking for the collection. Here we go. So items, we can click these three dots on the collection and we can have a look in here and you'll see actually we've got our menu strip as the parent and then we have the file that we added. We have help, which we also added. And then uh, this one's just called tool strip menu item one because I actually called it, well, the text I put in there was numbers rather than text. And you can see there that that's happened as well. And what you can do, you can click on any of these and then view the properties on the right and you'll see that they have a drop down items collection, which we can then click. And you see in here, there's our exit and our settings. Now there is a few additional properties you might be interested in looking at. What I tend to do is sort by alphabetical. So if you just do that, then rather than grouping them, I find that a little bit easier to manage. And if we scroll down, there is one in here called image. So we can Jump in here and we can, uh, let's look for a local resource. We'll just import. I'm not sure what these are. Let me see if I can find us something a bit interesting. Actually, let's take a screenshot of this icon. <laughs> and then if we import that from our screenshots, and then click OK. Click OK. Works with any image, so you can, you can put whatever image in here you want. Click OK. Now if we then run the program, you can see file, and then we've got our funky little icon that we just pulled from a screenshot as test. Uh, and so that's essentially the basics of menu strips. You can build them up as deep as you want. You can, you can have a top level one. You can have a sub level. Your sub levels can have sub levels. And even your sub sub levels can have sub levels. And then when you want to fire it up with an action, you just double click and you pop some code in your parentheses here. I would suggest maybe going away and trying to build up, maybe just copy the Visual Studio menu bar 
um, just to get comfortable with adding in different uh, levels of drop downs and also maybe icons like in here you can see Visual Studio has little icons for some but not all of the drop downs. So that's how you use the menu strip control. Hi, I hope you found that video useful. If you have any comments or feedback, then please leave me a comment below. I'm currently doing new videos every single day. So if you'd like to be notified about those, then hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.